Siren's been gone for a while, but... Uh, well, been working quite a bit. And... Yeah, I know this game has been released a while back. But I don't want to put anybody through no seizures, okay? So I waited until it got patched a couple of times. And I already heard this version of this game got a bad rap. I've let's played the original Wii version years ago. I'm actually afraid to play this version. Because I even heard... No, this is not even heard anymore. Because I also got this for the PS5. And oh, oh, oh boy. Even that version had problems. But I heard the Switch version have a multitude of problems. And no, I am not going to even play that cuts. Well, open the cutscene because, well, we've seen it already. In the original. Yeah. I forgot I had my Bluetooth speaker um paired with my phone, so yeah. Settings. I'm trying to figure out where the settings even worth it in this game. If I'm not mistaken, it isn't. I was right, it wasn't. Move it on. Like I said, I bought both versions at launch. Hello, it's Sonny. Do you read me? I'll be your navigator. Leave everything but the running to me. Fine, whatever. At least it's not on my child. The fact they have me mix music. In this version, kind of rubs me the wrong way because you know why? The original soundtrack was still loads better. Yeah, this still plays like Sonic Colors. Alright. Oh. Mm. Yeah, it seems like this game is still suffering from what I would like to call the Mega Man 4 problem. And what I mean by the Mega Man 4 problem, the sound effects is a lot louder than the game music and everything, the game music itself, and it gets very annoying and very jarring. And then you question, like, why they didn't fix the mixing to this? And what makes so bad is that we're in homing attack time to defend when it comes against enemies and just right then? I definitely don't remember that from the, from the, from the river at all. But I can appreciate Sonic Colors as what it what it's always been. It's just a regular Sonic game you just get from start to finish. You don't have to grind for crap. Dash rings give you a speed boost. Don't get me wrong. Rainbow dash rings. Oh, I love them. Um, Unleash. But the fact that I had to get uh, Sun and Moon medallions, a la Mario, is like, no. That is not fun.
to the point. There was a point that caused me to go at a standstill because I didn't have enough metals to, to progress. But the Wii version at least did that right. Oh yeah. There is no more lock. The life system has been done away with. So I get these tails tokens though. But all it does is just save me from a pit like beat with in Mega Man 6. No, Mega Man 7 onward. Would I like to try again? No, I don't. Sonic Colors on my channel, my YouTube channel. I remember having, a, I remember having a very good time playing it. Granted, the jokes were not funny to me back then. I thought they were cringy. I'm not gonna lie. But as far as the game gameplay, it was fun. Because this was basically what everybody wanted from Unleashed. Nothing but pure, unadulterated speed. Which, you know, I don't blame him because, well... Oh yeah, I forgot there's some cases he still trips. I gotta remember that. Oh yeah. Got a wall jump in the own stump already by default. Gotta remember that. Now the now the red rings in this game, just like in the original, you collect them all. You basically do that whole um, little mini game to arcade thing on. What's it called? It was a game simulator? That's what it was. And you collect them all. You unlock all the levels there. And you defeat all the levels. You unlock Super Sonic. And they were playing during regular gameplay. Here's the thing that's very jarring. And I know a, a lot of people on YouTube said it said this, and I have to agree. Because the cutscenes, it's just like it doesn't match with the optimization of the game itself. And it's supposed to be a remaster. But this straight up look like they're just copying and paste the resolution from the Wii. Space amusement park surrounded by planets. Still, an evil plot? I don't know. Yeah, I, don't understand. I still don't understand to this day. Like, tells like evil plot for Eggman? I don't know. Okay, have you lost count how many times he tried to kill you and stabbed you in the back? Resurrected ancient deity like creatures to destroy the world. <laughs> Chaos, Dark Gaia, Iblis. I can't believe somebody was dumb enough to leave the keys in this thing. It's like Eggman's begging us to sneak in and trash the place. Oh man, this thing's got crazy fast acceleration. <laughs> you call this fast? This amusement park has been constructed entirely out of a sense of remorse for my past transgressions and is in no way associated with any sort of evil plot or premeditated misdeeds. Well, that's hey man, we know you're lying. Stop. Uh, granted, I know why they re-released Sonic Colors because it was a... It was originally a Wii exclusive, and not too many people played this game unless you had a Wii. 
the DS version is his own thing. Which is basically um um the third the third game in the rest trilogy basically. <laughs> Get a map screen. Yep. Oh, yeah. This. Here's the thing I don't get. The last three acts, you get to hear the original versions of the music. Okay, I know how to do it. Granted, it still should have been mapped to the shoulder buttons. I had that argument then. I still have that argument now. Because it goes right back to that in Generations. Why do I let this? The line isn't all that bright. What the hell? Huh. I'm not gonna lie, it's a very minute detail, but as much as I played the original Sonic Colors, it's actually noticeable to me. Sonic 06. And, you know, and when it comes to glitches, and I'm like, no. The 360 version of Sonic 06 had its own problems. Because in a sense, it was more tailor made to the PS3. I mean, I ran into glitches in the PS3, but not as abundant as the 360. But the sad thing is... Sonic 06 could have been something easily. I mean, don't get me wrong. The plot was melodramatic and very stupid. Things do get a little weird. I'm not bashed on 06 when I played first played and then when I played on the channel. But as time goes by, I actually learned how to appreciate it. It's just. It's given a lot of things a lot better.
okay. I'm not gonna customize Sonic. Oh yeah. The Jade Wiz is new to this game. Uh. Also too. What? What kind of glitches the um PC version could possibly have? I know it had its own slew of problems, but it couldn't be that bad, could it? No! No! Play through a stage and suffer through it versus like I'm right there at the end though. I don't like stuff like that. I wish I knew what you were saying, little guy. Uh, okay. Whatever you are. Oh man, that was crazy. Oh, I was reconfiguring my handheld into a translator, so I could That should do question the whole, um, you know, blind squirrels handling of this. Well, I want it because they handled it, or the fact that Sega kind of rushed them to get it out. Okay, seriously? We need to find Eggman and figure out how catching these aliens fits into whatever heinous plan he's hatching. And wreck that plan, right? Yeah, that's pretty much how we spend our time. Yeah, I actually forgot this is one of the first games that introduced um, Roger Craig Smith as Sonic. Oh yeah, the Jade Wisp was actually introduced, well... It was introduced in Team Sonic Racing, but... As far as an action oriented game, just yeah, they decided to throw that one in there. But I actually wondered one thing. Why did they hum I don't know, and you know, just throwing all the other wisps that was in the DS version too, because um first was fun. Well, the Ivory Lightning was also fun. And then there's the color power someone back on all Lost World. And purposes, I think I should have. <laughs> Don't post the boost, not do that. Oh, I have no rings. Oh, crap, I have no rings. Huh. Well, that's how you get that ring. Okay, there we go. No! Stop doing that! I 
why I'm really grabbing the tail tokens like that. Did the music just stop? And this game was patched. This version of this game has been patched how many times? Gathering is this game size has been fixed for the most part. Oh, thanks for letting me know there's death below. I never would have guessed. I'm not gonna lie. I think they took way too many cues from Mario at that point. Cheeseburger and a shake. That'll be easier. Cheeseburgers. I actually hate Eggman's plan, 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 plan in this game. Idiot. Get me more aliens. What makes so bad? He could easily just use that energy to spend it himself and I don't know, make weapons? Wait a minute, I need to go over yonder. Some of the heroes end up doing in Sonic Forces. In the IDW comics, harness their hyper go on power, and then nothing will stop me. And I oddly enough, every time, but this time really and at this point, it's not even a spoiler me. because this is a re release <laughs> or remaster of an older game. The final boss fight. He means since the boss said nothing will stop me, and Sonic here is going to stop him, it's like the boss was calling Sonic nothing. Great. You really had to explain the joke. Fine. You're so smart, I didn't think that was funny back then. Why the big boy. did you explain the joke? He won't screw it up. Hasta la bye bye, sucker! Guess it's time for me to start stopping. Oh. That's gonna last. I actually think about skipping some of them cutscenes, but 
I like to torture myself and live through or uh, live and suffer through them again. Well, I'm definitely no speed runner, that's for sure. Shurikens at me. And I'm paying this down the dad on platform. Huh. I guess that was did do him some massive damage. Shopping, grabbed a bite to eat, and trashed a giant killer robot. Oh, really? I got several questions. One, has everything. Hey, where did you go shopping at? Two, I think it's done. Are rings the actual currency or there's actual cash? Three, why would you shop in it? Well, you know what? Never mind. Go ask that third one because I thought about yeah, you would shop anywhere where Eggman actually has some merchandise or wherever. Kind of proven in other media that you're in. Well, as I said, kind of proven. Yeah, uh, I think your machine still has some bugs. Yeah, I think I can figure this out though. Okay, he said his name is Yacker. He's from a race of beings called Wisps. Wisps? No, Wisps with a W. Yeah, I'll just stick with aliens if that's okay with everybody. <sighs> sure. So anyway, I don't know why, but when Sonic breaks the fourth wall, it's just no. Just no. To be worn by Sally. You can just hear save them, save them over and over. When I was running around trashing robots, I saw a map that had a couple of interesting places. I think I'll go check them out and maybe save some aliens. Man said to wrangle every piece of this mess. When you consider what we're doing from a robot's point of view, it's actually pretty crucial. Don't speak about it. If it gets ain't so. I was wondering. Do any man like building idiot sidekicks? No, but really, how much can it matter? I guess it can't matter. I think much. this game kind of cemented that fact because the Orbot and Cube Bot never went away. And what makes it even crazier, they were even in Sonic Boom. I actually laugh my butt off if somehow a later Sonic game actually bring um, Scratch to the fold. Grounder and Coconuts kind of already existed as bagnets to begin with. Because Ground was basically Burrowbot 2.0 and, um, what was, um, Coconuts called? Um, uh, Geeky, Coco, some crap like that. Oh, this remix sucks. There's no way around that. 
I actually like the original version of this song. Oh. Well, Candy misses. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. The fact that you're in this for a nice look at the movement part, you could probably enslave as many of them on inhabitants on Sonic's planet or the entirety of Earth. You really can't say it's Mobius anymore. Get blown up by spikes too. Kinda hilarious. Get in the background and all I like what's happening to them.
I did not do the remix of so Sweet Mountain Justice. Drifting right. Go to Act 3. Hopefully I haven't ran into really any serious glitches. I was probably saying like one visual glitch which is dealing with the laser. And then an audio glitch. The only glitch I hope I don't run into is the seizure inducing one. Take that type of thing. Oh, 
Hello, Go Ring. Be the rocket with y'all are moving so slow right now. This is that. I see the laser. get tedious at all. I'm glad they fixed that. I think we did. I think not seeing the lasers was part of uh, it was a switch exclusive glitch if I'm not mistaken. Because I did not run, run into that from the PS PlayStation version. No!
What mobile game? I know it was on Team Sonic Racing, though. Kick over with the Acolytes from the old franchise. Like Super Monkey Ball. The latest game, which is basically Monkey Ball 2, Monkey Ball 1, and Monkey Ball Deluxe. Well, Super Monkey Ball. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. So it was Team Sonic Racing. This on a race was a fun time. It's just the story mode I didn't like. I could have done without the story mode for that game. No! There we go. was lucky. Sits next. Dude, what this game should have done is gave us the option to choose between the original soundtrack and the remix soundtrack. If it, as if anybody even liked the you know, remix versions of these songs, but still, voice would have been nice. Secret of Mana remake the better. Oh, you said Legend of Mana. I just re yeah, Legend of Mana. Uh huh. And the thing about a Legend of Mana on soundtrack, it sounds good, and the remastered version sounds just as good. Oh no.
Oh, for my two mana games, I, th I consider my favorite. One is the Sword of Mana, which I hope Square in it, you know, find a way to uh, re release that version of the first Mana game and play and so we can play that because Sword of Mana was a GBA exclusive and I had fun with that one. Then there's Adventures of Mana that, that was a mobile phone and um Vita game. Trials of Mana. I love the remake. In need of saving. I like the original too though. Experience has taught me to investigate anything that glows. Oh yeah, Children Mana was good. And a weird dungeon crawler. Experience has also taught me that the best way to solve problems is to kick robot butt. Visitors are cautioned to avoid feeding, petting, or saving any Heroes of Mana. Oh, Excuse I remember me. Heroes of Mana because it must have been like a strategy game. And it came out on DS also, and that game was... <sighs> it had a good idea, it's just... It got annoying. And I like playing against like Fire Emblem, Sh Shiny Force 1 and 2, and... Final Fantasy Tactics. I'll be honest with Dawn of Mono that was on the PS2. I thought that game was underrated. I actually kind of liked it. Oh, I could believe it. It's just starting now, but don't let him pressure you. I kind of have to have to charge that other attack from um, Lost World at this point. Got you that time. Oh, heck. That wasn't too bad. Look, back to Legend of Honor, I'm actually glad they did a um, re release of that and remastered it. I right, was we'll waiting for uh, Front Mission 3. Saga Frontier 2. Dino Gears. Hey, Tails. You missed the BBBE. Huh? Best boss beating ever. So, it's not funny, Sonic. Is the hacker giving you any more information or limericks or whatever it is he's spouting? Well, first, remember, this translation stuff isn't 100%. Trust me, I remember. So anyway, these aliens are made up of a really powerful energy source called hyper-go-ons. It's inside of them. Like a battery? No. Well, sort of. It's their life source. And you only got a taste of it. Look at what happened. Battery is sort of an understatement. 
The funny thing, it was first translating as horrible body odor. <sighs> anyway, it seems an mm. evil man, and you might know him, who they call Baldy Nose Hair. <laughs> Baldy Nose Hair? That's the best thing I've heard all day. I gotta remember that one. <laughs> I know, I've already written it down. Anyway, he's draining them of their power, all their power, and using it for an evil aquatic mammal, an evil dolphin, no, a porpoise. Oh, an evil purpose. That's good intel. Keep working on it. Yeah, I did the same thing as well with um, Baga Frontier. Find Baldy McNose Hair, of course. <laughs> I'm totally calling him McNose Hair. Oh yeah, he does do that too, don't he? Next stop, the Sweet Mountain. Enjoying our candy paradise is the perfect way to celebrate your next birthday. I'm getting a little sleepy. But... Next stop, the... This is Starlight Carnival. One of the most useless wisp in the game, Cube. I did not even see the use of that one, like, at all. How many times did he come to Baldy McNose Hair back in on Lost World? The bad, did it? Did it really piss Eggman off so much when he tortured Sonic? So, wow. So I know what to do with the motor bus tails. You're making me want almost child back. Just that 
below. That's just right. No! That was a close one, Sonic. There we go. Wow. I got squashed like an idiot. Stupid mistake twice. That's just great. We seem to be losing pressure on level 17. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did not know there was a word right there. And I ran past the gold ring. Those screens are actually atrocious. I actually got trapped and there was no way out unless I unlock the daggone spike whisk.
Glitch was still there. It did not fix that. Dang, I looked away for a brief second and I died. Oh, Sonic. Even though they got rid of the life system, I think the whole Tales of this thing is kind of just like... It's still possible with this game. But getting the tails to um tokens are so easy to get. Oh, 
Okay. I know I'm not tripping. I I just collect a part token that will give me the um, usual tone I will get an extra in the 3D game for Yeah, I didn't hear a sound of it. Yeah, they did not do audio properly. There's no sense about it. I was supposed to be here the dun -dun 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 -dun, and I didn't even hear that. Oh, we're doing this again. Wow, I'm dead. Screwed up for a second. Change boards will boost near rings. Change boards with a book will boost near rings to do Just said, just said, please no, and that was it. I'm not sure if that was an audio glitch or audio kill. The sound effects is not even completing. That is not good. Where 
jarring. I shouldn't care about stuff like sound effects, but to me it's a tad jarring. It's close. Starlight Carnival. There's one more at before the boss battle, anyway. Oh, God. <sighs> Tell so because I don't even have at this point. Fifteen. This park is huge. Yeah. And here's the part why I say Eggman's playing is stupid. Indeed, I could. The end game. Well, right here behind this is supposed to end game. Hedgehog. Stand there and be a nice little target. Tails, is that you humming? Sonic, look out! Tails! My 
everybody now. What have you done to him? Me? I did nothing at all. Unless shooting him with my mind control beam that runs on alien energy counts is doing something to him. Does it? <laughs> to get to me, you're going to have to go through your best friend. So let me get this straight. This turned out much you stole all the wisps to yeah, have to go on energy for mind control. Can. I mean, you literally can In use fact, it for the the actual innate abilities. Come on, Which Step out of it, dude. that becomes a thing. And Sonic Forces. What the? Tails, buddy, are you alright? Huh? Where am I? Why is my nose hair tingly? Lousy, cheap alien energy. <laughs> Ran out of juice. Well, I'll get more. Lots more. And then I won't just control one little punk, but the whole universe. In the meantime, enjoy the park. I'll leave you your own private tour guide. Oh, hey, it's the boss. <laughs> Pay up, Tails. I told you he had an evil plot, and coming here was a good idea. There it is, straight from the horse's mouth. Uh, we didn't bet. Dang. Idiot. And the fact you bet my eight year old Sonic. I want to make you a little complete butthole. So did you get any more info out of him? Well, it wasn't easy, but yeah. Well, we know oh, Eggman is going to use the energy he's stealing for a mind control weapon. I know it's something about that. I'm actually getting you know sleepy. All these aliens? Yeah, yeah. At first I thought that Yacker was talking about how Baldy Nose Hair was using perks to do it. Hmm, he is pretty gassy. Maybe the smell would knock him out? I don't know, something doesn't seem right with that. That's what I said. It made no sense. Then I made a tiny adjustment and realized he was saying generators. 
So, no burps. Well, that's a relief. Tell me about it. So basically, Eggman is using five tractor beam generators to hold their planet in orbit while he scoops the aliens all up. Hold a whole planet? Well, it's tiny, but still, yeah. Uh, okay, fine. Remember five little generators? Planet? Well, I've already leveled two. So, if my math is done that before, that leaves us three more of those bad boys to take out. Nobody said there'd be math, but I'm with you, buddy. But we should get moving. Yakker says the aliens don't have much time. Once I start moving, I don't need much time. <laughs> Soon the mind control weapon will be full of energy. I've siphoned. Why do you use this for mind control weapon? That was so stupid. My interplanetary theme park. Y'all reckon you'll be able to get yourself enough of that energy to take over the whole dang planet? Yes. I reckon I will. Where is your new voice chip? Got it right here, sir. Just need to install it. The phone's connected to the top phone. The top phone's connected to the mouth phone. There. Good as new. Finally. I don't think anything could have been more annoying than that cowboy chatter. Feeling <laughs> ship shape with me new voice chip. I know it's a car. Begging your partner, Squire. But me and the oh, Mister are gonna sail off and search for that lover Sonic. Arr. Yeah. I think that's the wrong chip. Really? Are you sure he doesn't normally speak in pirate? On the right side, he's much more exotic now. Just go find him and fix that chip. <laughs> Shortly, I will have no need for those idiots. In just a few hours, Sonic you know, so you will have no need for the idiots, but keep them around in every game ever after, the after this one. That's the of my amusement park, the greatest amusement park in the universe. Ha, ha, ha. I think I gloated so hard I pulled a muscle. That's a problem, man. man. You might want to get that checked out. of our illuminated space fleet is sure to make you feel small and insignificant by comparison. Well, next time, next stop, the I will try to go the through the next three um, planets. Sure this is DSJ, and remember about it, let's all know the heck out. See you guys next time, and take care. The Starlight Carnival, the sheer scale of our illuminated space fleet 